Hey guys, this is Anna, Functional Planning, and I am here with a very special video. I am super excited about it. By the way, I disclaimer, I purchased all these planners myself. I adore this company. And if you never are, if you're new to my channel, I talk all about planning, planners, planner accessories, and how to prioritize your life. Now, this company is simplified. I have uh, purchased their planners every year for many years. I don't even remember. I know that I've always had a simplified planner. I love their daily planners. I am here to show you the differences between their three planners. Now they do have a teacher's planner, they have a wedding planner, and I'm trying to remember if they do have any other planners. I don't have the wedding planner or I don't have the teacher's planner, but I do have Dapper Dusk, I do have the weekly planner, and I do have their signature simplified planner. Um, I did do individual videos for these planners, which I will link above. And that was when I first received them uh, during their launch. But now I am here because August is not right around the corner, but there are two daily planners here, which I will, that's Marcus, my dog. There are two daily planners here that I will possibly be moving into in August. And there is a weekly planner here that I will also possibly be moving into in August. So I would like to share with you the details about the planners and um, what makes them different and unique. I am going to start with this is going to be a long video because now i have all three of them together i did do them separately now i will tell you the good and the bad things about them because i will never share a code anything i love the box it is extremely sturdy i've actually kept the boxes for different reasons not just to keep the planner um, nothing will happen to this box. Nothing will happen to your planner in this box. It is a beautiful box. I have actually wrapped a blue ribbon and uh, gifted it to people and they think it's like so beautiful. I got blue trellis for this year and you better believe that when I opened the box it took my breath away. So let's take this. I don't have any of the packaging or the blue card that comes with it because I already got rid of that. I am going to start prepping the planner for August 1st. And that's why I don't have anything that comes with or any of the packaging that comes with the planner. So as you can see, this is the academic version of the planner. It starts from August through July 2021. And as you can see, I mean, I think this is like the perfect combination, light blue with uh, navy blue. And let's open it up. They did change the stickers this year. We don't get the doodles anymore. We get these. And you get the name page, Simplify Planner, created by Emily Lay. You write your name. And you get a welcome letter by Emily Lay. I'm not going to read the whole letter, but process of simplifying. Um, she was the one that actually, Emily Lay was the one that actually, when I went through this and the whole process, um, there are, there's going to be a week where there, you're going to be able to set up the planner alongside with her. So the process of simplifying, which I'm actually doing now in my home, um, how to use a simplify planner. This, um, do the prep work, add birthdays and anniversaries, and add reminders, make time and, uh, make time and get messy. I'm going to explain that all to you as I go inside. Here is 2021, 2020 through 2021. 
or holidays um, they're going to be changing their planners I think the calendar year one will include religious holidays I know that um, so here is uh, preparing for a new year what worked for you last year what didn't work for you last year um, ideas for new routines and healthy habits morning routine and evening routine if you ever ask me what's your a.m. routine and p.m. routine this is where I have it written down this is why I don't have to write it out when I write it in my planner because I have it in my simplified planner now here are ideas for new routines you write it out here uh, simplicity challenge I can go through that but that's like a whole video uh, my year bucket list things that you would like to do this year but you don't actually write it down in your calendar until you have it scheduled and you do get four pages I believe one two three four five actually five pages and here's your August as you can see you have the same happy stripe colors and um, it that's what you get it's a colorful planner and that is my downfall um, you I mean I've come to love the happy stripe colors because I love the planner so I sacrifice that the calendar or the monthly view it is much smaller so this is where this page comes in um, before I had a simplified planner I thought I had to write everything in my monthly view so this was I couldn't even see what was happening in my monthly view so here comes how to use my planner or your simplify planner the only thing that's supposed to go in your calendar are birthdays special occasions or anniversaries so everything else you write on the side so I learned that from this planner um, you get a simplicity tip what you should do this month to declutter your home and you get uh, July and September um, the other downfall for me at least or for many people is that you get shared weekends and the colors repeat so Friday will always be yellow Sunday will be Saturday will be light pink Sunday will be magenta always so no matter what weekend banner I use it always clashes with my weekends because they're always pink Monday is always navy this one is like a turquoise um, I'm not sure because this one's like a lighter uh, greenish this is green this is Kelly green and this is yellow so this is the signature simplified planner the paper is I will give you the details this planner is $60 um, it is the full year this one is the calendar year there is not not a calendar year this is the academic one I'm sorry um, there is a calendar year one which launches in September the cover is 7 by 9.25 it weighs 1.7 pounds the pages the size is 6 by 8.75 and the paper is 70 pound paper pure white mohawk via vellum paper so um this is what i like about this planner you have your day that goes from 6 to 9 p.m you have a nice header you have a long to-do list and you have ample space at the bottom that is every day the only one is your weekends but what I tend to do is that I tend to mix my weekends in I make it just like one long big to-do list 
And um, I try to do the least as possible on Sunday. Sunday is my self-care day. Hope I gave you a tip on what to do on the weekend for that. But yeah, I know the old wiring is not everyone's favorite. It's not my favorite either. But I've used this planner for, again, many years. I throw it in my purse. I throw it in my planner purse. Nothing happens. I can show you the one that I've used for this year. It holds up pretty well. I actually um, took out some of the months from the beginning because I used stickers in them. And it was actually wider than, um, than what it would normally be. I don't carry a lot of stuff in here either. I only carry what I have to carry, but I got used to it. Obviously, you're not going to be able, if you're here, you're not going to be able to close it like this. You're going to have to move the pages and then close the cover. Mine, because I use stickers, it, 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 it's kind, let me see if I uh, have it somewhere. No, I actually took out the pages so you wouldn't be able to see them. But it was getting kind of bulky and I couldn't really write in the month of July. So I had to take some of the pages. But it was really easy to do because of the old wiring. I didn't have to recoil anything. I just had to open these up and take out the pages that I needed to take out. So yeah, recoiling this, the old wiring is better than the other coil that we're used to so that's a pro uh, that's something that I really liked um, that I was able to take out the extra pages because it made it less bulky um, this year I'm all about simplifying and using less stickers in my planners so let's see how that works but this um, will be my weekly planner and this is the Signature Daily Simplified Planner. If I forgot to answer any of your questions, please let me know. Uh, now here is the weekly one. The weekly one is very different. Let's move the box to the side. Again, I don't have any of the packaging or, or the little card that comes with it because I am getting ready for August. This one is smaller compared to the Signature Simplified Planner. It is way smaller. Now, a lot of people go from this, from this one to this one because they feel like they have, there are some days that you're busier than others and, or you have a lot of days that you're not as busy than other days. So they feel like, let me move to this one because I have a lot of space here. But then when they do so, this one also comes with the same stickers. The stickers are new in this one also. You get the same um, intro, name page, the simplify process, how to use your Simplify Planner, your calendar. I really like this one for a lot of reasons because it is smaller and it is uh, bound, but you can't fold it backwards. Um, it does lay flat. You have the same thing, what worked for you last year, what didn't work for, for you last year, new routines and new habits. Um, Ideas for new routines, morning routine, evening routine, uh, simplicity challenge, uh, my bucket list. So I'm going a little faster on this one. And then you have a few pages here in the front. Here's your monthly calendar. Let me check in the back. You do have no pages in the back. So there's a total of 31 no pages in this planner. So that's why a lot of people use this planner for work. Um, you actually have no pages in this planner, in the back of the planner. There are line pages, but that's fine. And here the colors match. 
they're the same they're happy stripe colors the months they match now here is where if you go from the daily from the signature simplify daily to the weekly and you've used a larger weekly planner it might be a little let me see if i can zoom this in no too much it might be a little tight for you but what i was thinking and this is just my personal opinion and me brainstorming um, how much decorating do i do in my planner versus functional versus the actual appointments that i write in the things that i actually need to remember in my appointments and here you have, this is where you write your schedule, which I should probably try the tape to see if it actually works. Hold on one second. Yeah, the tape does not fit. The spaces are smaller because um, it is a smaller layout. Um, I know I've been asked before if a monthly calendar is smaller. The monthly calendar does seem a bit smaller. So this one stops right here. And then let's pick this line here because it might be in frame. And this stops right here. So it's literally like a hair smaller. Now, oops, wait a second. So you have your calendar here. Let me repeat that again. You have your to-do list here. Uh, Monday through Wednesday, Thursday and Friday over here. Um, now, this is the space that you have for your weekend. This might be perfect for someone um, who works. It might be perfect for meal planning, for journaling. Um, I don't know if this would work for someone for someone who stays at home and needs a lot of space for the weekends or who has a lot of activities for the weekends. That's just my thought. I know like I know for me, this is not enough space for the weekend. So this is why I think it would be perfect for uh, maybe work or just an overview of my week and just writing down um, maybe my bills and um, it, important events that are coming up for me to not forget. That's what I'm thinking and not too much decorating. I'm going to keep this planner simple, focus on my important to do's, uh, anniversaries, birthdays, um, bills that are coming up that I need to focus, budgeting, and um, not a lot of noise in, uh, in this planner. Um, maybe just pen and paper. This is the weekly simplified planner and um, in blue trellis. Now we are going to Dapper Dusk, which is a daily planner. I don't have a box because I already got rid of it. It was really difficult taking it out of the box. You had to dump it out of the box. I think the box should be like this, where you pull it out and you have some wiggle room in it, but I understand why they make the box um, so snug to keep the planner protected. Um, this is vegan leather and uh, this is the very first time that the planner comes in academic. The planner used to only come in leather but that changed a few years ago and this might possibly be my daily planner i know i mentioned the other one's a daily planner too but this one has may have a different purpose this one might just be my pen and paper planner um i'm going to show you why there's a different uh, there's uh many reasons why 
Now this is a very uh, plain neutral planner. That's not a bad thing. I am a neutral person. As you can see, I showed you both Emily Lay planners. They're very colorful, they're very colorful, very happy stripe. This one, as you can see, has the beautiful navy inside. Um, there's no space for your name, but it does say August 2020 through July 2021. I am excited that it is offered as an academic. You don't have to wait for the new year to start. Here are all your holidays. Um, it doesn't have the new holidays. Uh, the new one will for the new year. Um, here is 2020 through 2021. And this one is very different than the other planners that I just showed you. This planner has all the months in the front of the planner. And then your days begin. I showed you that all the months are together in the front. So for me, when I first, I mean, I knew that's how it was. I have purchased the Dapper Dusk a few times and then I go back to my signature Simplify Planner because I'm used to having my monthly view and then my weekly, my monthly view and my weekly. But this time I'm going to try it out for a few reasons. Now I have all black and white. I don't have any colors. There are no tabs. So that's one thing. I wish it was like the weekly where they do have the tabs. Uh, they have some kind of marking where it would show the beginning of the next month. Um, here is July 31st, which is a Friday, so no yellow. Uh, Saturday has its own day. Sunday has its own day. So this is very good for me. And you still have from 6 to 9 your to-do list and all the space down here. Um, as you can see, the days are, you just get a neutral planner. Now, unfortunately, do you, yeah, you do have a couple of pages in the back. Let me go and check on the website. This planner is $62. It weighs 1.8 pounds. The thickness is 1.25. It's vegan leatherette. There is no bleed through. There is shadowing. There's shadowing with every paper. Um, but yeah, this is the difference between Dapper Dusk that you, you do have, let me see how many pages. I might be wrong, but you do get around 10 pages, 15 pages. Um, so, and it did come with a blue ribbon to mark your spot. I took that off. I don't like it in my planners. It gets in my way or when I have to move it to the side. Um, I prefer to mark my, my, my pages with page markers. And um, yeah, so this is what I am going to be using for work. Either way, one of them will be my personal that I write everything and I will never post because it has my secrets. And I do have to use one for work and that one, um, obviously I can post. But I am, this will be the first year that I am trying Dapper Dusk. Um, every other year I end up giving it away or sending it to my sister because I am used to the coil and believe it or not, I like the colors. But this year I am looking for simplicity 
and um, for minimalism and I love this pattern here I know I spoke a lot but I hope I was able to answer some of the questions if you have any questions about the product the paper if you want me to do a pen test on any of them um, please uh, let me know I do have an uh, a link it's not an affiliate link I'm not a, I'm not an affiliate with Emily Lay um, but I do have uh, a link where you can save ten dollars on your first purchase um, I will link that below um, I will link all the products in this video below I hope you like this video um, if you did don't forget to hit like if you would like to see more videos like this don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day thank you so much for watching